In this chapter, we will talk about uh, Jasper format on fossils. There is basically three types of uh, fossilization by silica. Um, after all, mm, fossils in silica are not so common. More common is mm, carbonate, calcite. But uh, there is uh, some kind of fossil that are most by replaced by silica than others. Okay, um, the more simple is the cast, is a filling of a cavity, uh, like in this gasteropod that uh, is transforming, transformed i in an agate. This is not so common. Um, replacement is a kind of uh, uh, fossilization by replacement of aragonite or calcite by silica. So um, this is um, uh, quite common in coral and uh, stromatolite that are often replaced. So the, f the original uh, material is uh, aragonite and uh, is replaced by silica and is transformed in jasper. And another um, kind of replacement is the replacement of wood by silica. This process is called permineralization and uh, is mm, a kind of fossilization mm, that preserves the very tiny detail of the wood and also the, 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 the cells uh, are preserved and uh, is a process uh, characteristic of the fossilization in silica that doesn't exist in carbonate. Okay, uh, after all, uh, there is uh, some organisms that are um, basically made of uh, silica, like uh, some sponge that have a silica skeleton. So, uh, this is obviously uh, form uh, fossil in silica. And uh, I I this is the example done by spongy that are often found uh, in the center of flint nodule. So mm, the, the spongy, if it's found in the right place, uh, uh, act uh, like, a, mm, like a, a germ for a seed for the nucleation of the nodule. So this is a, a deposit in Denmark, and it's nice uh, to, to see this, ma this fossil that is called Plintocella resonance, because it includes inside a, a piece of the spongy uh, that is like a bell, so it sings. So it's very popular between child that uh, swim in the beach of Denmark. Okay, uh, this is a kind of fossilization by cast and uh, some uh, shell that leave an empty space are filled by uh, agate. And this is a sinistral shell found in Deccan, is very popular in the, the last years. And this is a new found from, from Morocco. This is uh, a kind of fossil mm, quite rare. And uh, there is the possibility that all the, the rock becomes silicified mm, if the, the beginning of the, the rock is if a nice silica content. But uh, for example, Mm, this mm, Turitella Jasper from Wyoming um, have a, for sure a nice uh, co carbonate content and is completely transformed in Jasper. So all, not only the shell, but all the rock is a Jasper. This is another example from Ukraine and all the rock is silica that uh, contain a um, piece of crinoid. Crinoid are uh, animal living in water, like lilium, like a uh, flower, and in, in the in the stalk, uh, they have uh, this kind of piece that look look like a screw. So this is a very strange uh, fossil. Okay, um, more oh, another mm, example of uh, replacement. Um, is um, when uh, or an organism have a shell made of usually of aragonite and uh, is completely replaced by silica. 
So in this case, like this ammonite or this gasteropod, you can see um, the outer uh, the cast, but also some internal detail are preserved. And this is because uh, all the calcite or the aragonite is replaced by, by the silica. And this is uh, another replacement by silica of aragonite because coral is aragonite. Uh, but this is just uh, a jasper because it's a silicified silicify rock with the, the pattern of the coral. And this is the famous uh, coral from Sumatra with two different kinds, uh, different species. But there is many coral uh, silicified like this. The, the most famous coral from Fl Florida are uh, really cast, not replacement. And you can see the uh, good detail of the outer uh, surface, but inside um, the carbonate was um, depleted and just uh, avoid, leave it, and calcedony crystallized. Another group of uh, fossils that are usually silicified is uh, stromatolite. Stromatolite is um, uh, a kind of coral, but is made by bacteria. Cyanobacteria, we we know cyanobacteria from the video number two when we talk about uh, beef and was the first uh, organism um, that make uh, that made the photosynthesis and produce oxygen. So uh, there was mm, very diffuse on Earth um, in the first billions of years of life in, in the Earth. And, mm, they are called as uh, algae carpet, but uh, really there is no algae, it's just uh, bacteria, and they form mm, in tidal area. So the typical stromatolite are banded with uh, a, a kind of lamination and grow in a small pipe and grow uh, toward the height. Um, they have a very low uh, growing uh, mechanism and uh, they are made uh, of carbonate. So the, the bacteria cause the precipitation of carbonate and make a strong uh, structure. This is um, the, the most famous uh, stromatolite from Minnesota. This is uh, a horizontal cut. We can see the, uh, the structure, uh, pipe structure. And Mm, because it's uh, an organism not so not very known from people, I will I want to show you uh, how is the aspect of living organism. So this is an example of Shark Bay from Australia. It's a national park, and in the tidal area, um, the stromatolite form like um, a small reef made of this uh, structure. And uh, if you touch them, they are hard, but they are covered by a uh, skin of gel material. Um, and this is a kind of biofilm, because bacteria have the property to produce uh, organic matter out of the cell. So um, uh, all the organisms that live, to, uh, they live together have, uh, live in, in a gel that is um, not uh, owned by uh, any special any special individuals, but is owned by the con colony. So you cannot say if this material is from one or another organism because it's out of the cell and the organisms are unicellular. So uh, they make a skin that is a living skin that make photosynthesis and is a little bit uh, gray green. And this uh, small skin that is called biofilm uh, um, mm, favor the precipitation of carbonate. Okay, and this is a, another place where um, stromatolites are found in a, a salt lake in Argentina, and they have a small uh, half dome f shape, and, and this is a similar uh, shape uh, mm, specimen from from Morocco that is a fossil one. Uh, stromatolite from uh, <coughs> Wyoming 
have a similar uh, band structure, but in some cases they form lobes and they, they are called oncolite. So oncolite is mm, because of the shape mm, more uh, individuals. And uh, uh, really, oncolite is a term better used when um, uh, the stromatolite are uh, loose, so are like a small nodule with uh, uh, banding around the 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 whole, the whole shape of the nodule. These are oncolite of less than one centimeter from uh, Jasper from California, and. This is another uh, oncolite jasper from Madagascar. So you can see the nodule, the oncolites that are um, free in a, a massive background that is made probably of the same material. And there is a part of the carbonate that is precipitated by the bacteria, but part uh, uh, of the carbonate is precipitated by chemical in induced by, by bacteria. So it's not. Uh, primary is just secondary. And this is a living uh, oncolite. This is from Mexico. So you can see they are like like stones, loose stones, but uh, if you touch they have uh, uh, jelly skin and the inside is very similar to color, coral. And a, a group of uh, structure made uh, always uh, for f by bacteria but are called microbialite because are not laminated like stromatolite is mm, uh, make uh, a very huge structures this is from pavilion lake in british columbia and this is a lake where the nasa have studied a lot because this is a kind of life entity that can be found uh, in uh, Mars, so this is uh, some of the biggest living structure on Earth, and are made of uh, just s uh, stromatolite, just by bacteria. So this is a kind of stromatolite. And this, we change theme. This is another group of mm, jasper that uh, can uh, replace uh, dinosaur bone. So. Mm, the big bone of dinosaur have a night porosity and uh, um, the, the replacement and the feeling of pore uh, make uh, it as, as a jasper. So this is why mm, just dinosaur bone are transformed in jasper uh, because of the size. This is uh, one example from Argentina is where they are found the biggest uh, dinosaur in, in the earth. Mm, the, the kind of fossilization is a mix of uh, pore filling and uh, replacement, but uh, we, there is not um, uh, jasper on other kind of bones like mammal bones. So this is quite common, but just in dinosaur. The, the pattern is preserved, the, the original pattern of the bone that is spongy, this the black is bone, and any shell are filled by agate, and this is the most common color, it's red, but there is many colors. So uh, the pore is filled, but then there is a replacement of, of, the, of the bone material, but some bone uh, resist. This is a kind of huge variety of, of colors, and the most valued material is when uh, of course there is a beautiful color but but also when uh, neighbor cell have different color this for example is some very high quality material gem quality and is uh, amazing the color that they have okay so the pattern of uh, the 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 bone changes a little so it's quite impossible uh, or very difficult to re to know what kind of uh, dinosaur it was but the the color uh, are more variable uh, and uh, there is also some 
bonds that are replaced by chalcedony and this transparent like this uh, staying in the field of dinosaur also coprolite can be silicified but in this case is probably a mix of a re replacement by filling the porosity, porosity but also is a kind of transformation because there was possibly a lot of vegetable material in coprolite so this is a mix of um, this and the next uh, kind of fossil and this now uh, we will talk about the permineralization that is the uh, replacing uh, by silica of wood so this is uh, some fossil wood the macro photo of fossil wood and we can see that any small detail of the wood is preserved and we can see the cell structure of the wood and these are wood very old this is one of the few cases where it's possible to see um, fossil detail of organic matter like this one and this uh, process that occur only with silica we know that the, the process is quite fast because in, in uh, logs buried uh, in 1886 uh, in New Zealand uh, some, some wood are just uh, mineralized with silica so it's not so uh, long process for geologic time and for understand this uh, kind of process I want to show you a um, man-made process uh, called plastination plastination is um, uh, a way mm, invented by a German studier study, uh, a way to conserve to preserve a uh, human body so this is a real human body that has been transformed in some something of plastic so uh, quite uh, quite similar to plastic is silicon so uh, the process is um, first pr first step is put the the whole, the whole body that uh, people before to die give the permission to use his body for science so they put the body in a pool full of ac acetone and the acetone remove water and remove all fat material so the the cell become void become filled of acetone and after that um, there is a in injection inside cell of the silicon polymer and this is a process very similar to what happened with wood because um, uh, also we are calling we are talking about uh, silicon polymer because opal or jasper are two kind of silica pol polymer and uh, the third step is curing the polymer because at the beginning it is soft and uh, is cured by heat or by UV light so in the plastination you can mm, transform any part of the body any tissue and conserve also the original colors because the skin of the cell uh, is the original so uh, this kind of body is studied is used for study for making exposition there is many uh, possibility for use this and this is the this is the, the result of plastina uh, plastination is not a cast this is a cast a cast is a doll so there is no uh, nothing inside just a rubber but this is uh, a complete transformation of the body in a, in a plastic object that is possible to to expose in a, in a museum so a very similar process possibly uh, occur for mineralization of uh, of wood and this is a cast so uh, there was an empty space lived by the wood and uh, you can preserve in in this case is agate the the outer uh, shape but the inside is changed but the permeabilization preserve all the structure in the ring of the wood and this is an example this is an actual wood this is a fossil wood exactly the same it's totally preserved so uh, the process in nature have the the possibility to fill the the void 
live it by by the wood and uh, to have time and temperature for uh, curing the the polymer so it's perfect and um, the the chemical process is uh, a kind of opalization that we see in in the chapter of uh, rhyolite uh, jasper uh, we can see that we see opalization uh, about, uh, uh, above uh, mm, serpentine above uh, uh, nice rock so almost uh, near fumarole we see that uh, almost any kind of rock can be opalized so uh, a similar process of opalization of wood appear uh, on the on the on the log mm, before to fossilize during fossilization and uh, when the opal uh, replace the wood uh, then there is a kind of curing so aging of the of the material that transform uh, opal to jasper so so probably the uh, opalized log like uh, xyloid opal uh, are an intermediate step mm, in the jasper formation okay uh, some famous uh, fossil forests are, uh, in the world are uh, tra transformed in national park but the most famous is for sure the petrified forest of arizona where mm, very big uh, food are fossilized completely fossilized in silica in silis in jasper and uh, a, a big palette of colors are present for this reason it is called r rainbow wood so the the forest is of triassic triassic age and uh, uh, most of uh, the tree are of uh, araucaria that is a kind of um, pine the pine family is uh, gymnosperm so so before that um, tree with flower appear on earth uh, so all the forest in this age was uh, gymnosperm and this is uh, another picture from Petrifoy petrified forest national park of arizona and uh, the 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 color is absolutely incredible the quantity and the perfection of the details another mm, famous uh, uh, forest is in Argentina in southern Argentina in Patagonia where a very big log of also of uh, Araucaria are uh, found and in this case um, there is fossilized also um, pine cone and this pine cone also also show the pine, pine nut here the seed of, of, the, of the araucaria and in, in some case it, it is possible to find also the pine cone uh, stick to the this, uh, the this branch so this is a very nice deposit and uh, another famous deposit is the petrified forest of uh, lesbo island in greece this is miocene and is quite different kind of tree but it's uh, famous because mm, few tree are uh, uh, yet in the standing position many forests are not so um, spectacular for make a national park but uh, are uh, found in geological mm, deposit and uh, is they bring a lot of material to the market and they are easy to collect and slab and polish and collect one of the more famous is the blue forest in Wyoming uh, characterized by uh, blue inclusion of chalcedony in the fracture of the wood also we can see that mm, the round shape of the log is squished a little bit and the shape is uh, oval a little bit a uh, few mm, famous uh, petrified forests are uh, found in Oregon this is from McDermott area near uh, Oregon Nevada border and this is a uh, cherry wood another famous forest is in stinking water and this is an oak wood uh, but very famous uh, probably the most 
no is Sweet Tom, uh, from al always from from Oregon. Uh, out from from United States, there is a, a very famous uh, petrified forest in North uh, Madagascar, uh, where uh, very colorful material is found also. And one a kind of uh, very strange material is what is called red wood it comes from Australia and this um, also Araucaria wood because uh, it's a Jurassic age and uh, but this material is not found on on land deposit but is in water so the the log are uh, floating on the sea and uh, they are atta attached by mollusks so the, they are mm, parasit of uh, a bivalve that make hole, make some tunnel, and uh, make its uh, own home inside the inside the wood. So this is the animal with two, two small shell here that turning, he can make uh, the small hole, and uh, the living animal stay uh, at the entrance of of the tunnel. So many many individual can bore the hole and when and they pr profit of uh, the floating of the wood so they they move on on the sea until uh, the, the 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 original wood is so filled by animal that is obliged to sunk so it's too heavy so there is not enough wood to float so when when it sunk the animal uh, die and they leave the hole empty and the, the white material that is a kind of radial right uh, mud enter inside so the the white outer uh, material is a kind of uh, chert and the, the the black is the real wood mm, other kind of wood uh, can fossilize uh, palm wood from Texas, Louisiana uh, are very famous uh, there was a big uh, palm forest in this area but also uh, cicad that is a kind of uh, very old age uh, uh, palm tree uh, cicad are possible to find fossil this is quite rare because they are a small small log so it's quite difficult to find and uh, if we go uh, back in time, in Permian age, when <coughs> mm, most of the the tree on the land was uh, tree fern, um, this is a deposit from Brazil, uh, a kind of uh, tree fern fossil wood uh, that is witness of a very old forest. <coughs> 